Did you want an anime of cute girls, fan service, epic battles, and a compelling story? Well, welcome to Initial D, where you may or may not get some of that every four episodes or so. Now, the story may not be the best, and the twists sometimes edge on the ridiculous, even by anime standards, but sometimes you just want something to turn your brain off and enjoy. And of course, this brings up a major question about recommending this show. Do you need to be into cars to enjoy this show? Simple answer, no. There's no need to have any car knowledge to be able to enjoy this show. Now, would it help to know about certain vehicle dynamics or to have any sort of experience with working on a car? Sure, but like any anime, you don't need experience on the subject to enjoy the show. It just adds to the experience, really. Now, what is Initial D about? Well, it's about street racing in the Japanese mountain roads, or toge. The story revolves around 18-year-old Takumi Fujiwara, an average high school student with no real aspirations. While his friends and co-workers are really into the local street racing scene, Takumi appears to be oblivious to anything involving cars. He does want a car, but he figures anything with four wheels and an engine is good enough. After being invited by one of his friends to see what all the fuss is about, the gang gets challenged by, to a street race by the Akagi Red Sons, led by Ryosuke Takahashi and his brother Keisuke. Ikitani, Takumi's friend and leader of the Akina Speed Stars, is advised by his boss that the best local racer drives a Panda Sprinter Trueno. This turns out to be Takumi's dad and he refuses to be in the race and sends Takumi in his place. The Akina Speed Stars and the Akagi Red Sons are rightfully confused when Takumi shows up, but reveals that he's been delivering tofu every morning since he was 12. His dad's been deliberately doing this to train Takumi to become a street racer without him knowing, which is why he's been become pretty bored of driving for some time now. Confident with his abilities, Ikitani has Takumi race Keisuke Takahashi, and with this we have the first CG filled race of Initial D. After blowing everybody away with his driving skill, the war goes around and attracts the attention of other street racers who are trying to take down this Sprinter Trueno. And let me tell you, the races in the show mixed in with some Super Euro beat become dogfights, testing the skill of each driver and pushing each other to their limits to pass each other on the toge. Of course, this brings me to an important note to bring up about Takumi and the 86 Corolla he drives. This car is not what makes him a good driver. And while it is tuned up and modified to be able to maneuver the way it does, this does not make it a god machine. A main plot point of the show is everyone being impressed of his abilities in the Hachiroku because it's a Hachiroku. It'd be like using any bottom tier character in a fighting game at a tournament. Yes, it's possible to win, but you're at a disadvantage because there are better characters out there. Of course, not everybody gets this from the show, as any listing on Craigslist for an 86 Corolla will be followed by either a 86 which is false because those are only in Japan, or Welded Differential because this car has become sought after by car enthusiasts and weeboo alike. And while yes, it can be a fun car to drive, it's not worth spending your life savings on importing one, as what you get would be an old rusty Corolla that will find its way into a ditch because some jackass out there would inevitably try to be the next Takami and wreck the car in an attempt to do the gutter technique. Initial D can introduce you into the world of cars, sure. In fact, here's a list of the cars I'd like to have from this show alone. Just don't be a goddamn weeaboo about it. Just enjoy the show for what it is, dumb fun with some really catchy ass music. It may not have the best story as most people actually only care about the races and kind of forget about the overarching love story. With each new race, there is a new story to be told, and this is where Initial D shines. Small confined stories of the drivers and how they deal about it with the driving. The CG may throw some people off, but if you get past it and some slow pacing, Initial D is a fun time for anyone who's willing to give it a shot. You got at least four seasons, a couple movies, and a live action one. And if you're not drifted out, you can go watch Tokyo Drift.